The objective of the second video is to show you how to use the web interface to create web reports, input forms, workspaces, upload a SAP dashboard flash file to BPC, and manage the web folder structure. Starting from the library, near the new icon, click on Report. A data grid definition box will open, where you will need to select the model and dimensions that you would like to see in your data grid. First of all, we will select the finance model as the model which we would like to see data from. We will then select the entity dimension and move it to the rows by clicking on the right arrow. We will also move the time dimension to the columns of this newly created report. From the small list selection close to the dimension name, we can either select the members to be displayed or we can leave this selection for later. We can also move up or down a dimension in case there are multiple nested dimensions on rows or columns. Alternatively, we can switch the row and column dimension. For this example, we will click on selected members for the entity dimension, select world for member and children, and remove the prior selection for the current context. Click OK twice. To see data displayed in the data grid, we need to ensure that the members selection in the context at the top of the screen are Actual 2015 Total World Net Income Local Currency Total Intercompany Audit Trail Total Total Customer Total Products and Periodic you should now be able to see data appearing in the data grid of the report. Notice the small plus sign near each member on rows and columns, which if you were to click on, would expand to the members below. I will click on the world plus sign and it will automatically display the members below in the hierarchy. It is important to understand your data model prior to creating a report as data will only reside at specific intersections of members within a BPC model. Knowing your data model will help you decide on the right members to select in the current view, the page, the row and column axes. To edit our selection and maybe modify the dimensions of rows and columns, I click on the pen at the top left hand corner of the data grid. Add category to the row axis. Click OK. Click on category dimension from within the report. And add the budget category to the report. You can now see two lines, one for actuals and another for budget. You may also use the features at the top, which are refresh, to refresh data in the report, comments to add and manage comments, and run drill through to external systems, and use a display feature to manage the report format or add graphical elements to the screen. Once done, click on New Report, then Save, and rename the file as VT01 and save it for future use. You may now close the report by using the X sign on the top right hand corner of the report screen. Now we will look at creating a new web input form. Click on Input Form, 
and a new data grid selection opens. Select the finance model, select product on rows and time on columns, then click OK. The product opens on rows with a selection for 2014 Jan on column. You can use all the components we learnt in the report section to manipulate and enhance your data grid. For this training, I will keep the screen as it is. Go to the new import form, then save and name it VT02. Click on Save. I will input 100 for headcounts in the data grid. Note the Save Data button at the top which is now active and click on it to save data back to the BPC server. Click Yes. After the data has been accepted, you will now see that the Save Data button is greyed out again. Let's close the screen and click on Workspace. A workspace is like a specific folder which can contain reports, input forms and other content which is linked to a specific current view or member selection. Click on the New Content button and add the VT02 form. Then click Save. Name your workspace Virtual Training. Go back to the library and select the public folder. Find the virtual training workspace and click on the star to define it as a favourite. Select the favourite icon above the public folder to see your virtual training workspace in the right hand part of the screen. Click on the dashboard icon. This allows you to upload a flash file, which would be created using SAP dashboards so that it can be embedded into SAP BPC portal. Cancel the screen. Finally, when you click on the folder icon, you will be able to create new folders within the existing folder structure. This is the end of the web reporting training. You should now be able to create web reports, input forms and add them to a workspace. The next five videos will aim at teaching you how to create and enhance reports using the SAP BPC EPM Excel add-in interface.